Today we're going to be building a twin XL uh, bed. This is a queen bed, but this is what it looks like at the end. These are what our brackets are going to look like. The brackets should be given to you by Family Promise, um, or they can be ordered on Amazon. So up to see here, we have our materials. What you're going to need uh, is included in the video description. Uh, you need also your two and a half by eight inch wood screws. Um, as well as the brackets which are included. You see eight by two and a half inch wood screws here again. You're gonna need a couple drills. I would recommend an impact drill. It's gonna make your job a lot easier. Um, you want some clamps. Um, you'll need these when you're putting the bed together. Um, these are two by twos and you can get them in a about any length because um, you're going to be cutting them and putting them onto the long boards anyway. So here you can see the lumber you're going to need. Uh, on the top there's a two by six by eight feet. You're gonna need five of those for a queen bed, three of them for a twin bed. Uh, in the middle there, that thin one is the um, 2x4, and those that 2x4 is going to be used to make the feet. And on the bottom, we have 1x5s, which are going to be used to make the planks at the end. Uh, and here is another close-up shot of those 1x5s. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take one of your 2x6x8 feet, and you're going to me want to measure out 82 inches. And then you're going to want to cut that. If you're doing this with the scouting program, you need to have an adult counting uh, cutting. Uh, here what I'm doing is I'm taking the square and using the square to make sure that this line is straight and we're not going to make a curved or diagonal cut because that would be good for the bed and that would make it lopsided. For the ends of the bed you're going to want to cut um, 45 inches for a twin or 82 for a queen. Once you've cut the pieces you want to lay them out in a square like this and then you're going to start putting the brackets on. Uh, the brackets should be given to you by Family Promise, or you can order them on Amazon. So what you're going to do is you want to put the shorter end of the bed uh, down, like this, and then you're going to have somebody help you out with this next part. You're going to take the longer end of the bed and put it on top like this. Um, and then you want to make sure that it's squared off. I like to use another piece of wood to square it off. Um, see what I do here is I put it on the ground next to it, and then I level it off. Then what you're going to want to do, I like to make sure it's square one more time, and what you're going to want to do is put your brackets on. So take your brackets, um, make sure you have the side of the bracket um, that is smaller, uh, the hole is smaller because the hole is going to be lopsided, you want the smaller hole to be down at the bottom of the brackets. So you, know, you see here, um, if you look there, we've got it like this. And what you're going to want to do is you want to mark holes where you're going to be uh, drilling because it's easier to put this down and drill. So you're going to mark holes to remember where this spot goes. I like to put holes. I like to mark the holes on the inside. You can, you can draw an outline of the pieces. It's really up to you how you want to get this part done. But this is usually a two to three person job. It can be pretty difficult um, to get this all. This is probably the hardest part. So next what you're going to want to do is put everything back down and then put your brackets in. You want to drill pilot holes um, and what basically that means you drill a little bit in so the screw can go in and it doesn't crack the wood or go in the wrong way um, because if you have that problem then you know it's not going to be good. So I like to you know brush off all the extra wood and then see here we got, uh, I'm using an impact drill here, which is going to make sure the screw really gets in there. And you want to drill the screws in um, here. And I would recommend buying one or two inch screws, um, not using the ones that came with it, because the ones that came with it tend to be kind of unstable um, and come out easily, especially if you drill your pilot holes too big. So once you put it in this bracket, you're going to put in your other bracket. And that's the same process as before. You really want to make sure it's going in straight and not, and it's not going to be curved because if it's going to be curved, that's going to you're going to end up having a problem there. So I think that screw was stripped, which is why I got a different one. Uh, and you can see this is a two-man job. You really want to make sure somebody's holding the bracket so it's not moving around uh, because if it moves around, then when you put the bed together, it is not going to be level. 
The next step that I'm going to show is building the feet of the bed. This is where you're going to take your 2x4 and cut one of them into 5.5 inches and the other one is going to be cut to 11 inches. So I like to glue it down like that and then make sure they're level with another piece of wood. If the feet aren't level, the bed is not going to stand up correctly. So this is a pretty important step that you make sure that's flush right there. You can see I'm checking it's flush. Um, then what you're going to want to do is take a clamp and clamp it there. And uh, I like to... I like to put the wood glue in. The wood glue isn't too necessary though. I just think it helps for the structural integrity. Um, so once you have the clamp here, you're going to drill some pilot holes in and you're going to use your uh, two and a half by eight inch wood screws. I like to do either four or three pilot holes. So two on the top and then one on the bottom or two on the top and two on the bottom. If you have three, it's usually going to be fine. Depends on how many screws you have. We were running kind of low, so we use uh, three holes. And then what um, we're going to do here is you're going to have somebody hold it because it's not going to really stand up right. And you're going to take the screws, once again, using the impact drill because it's really going to get in there more. Um, and, it's, and it's going to stop the screw from stripping or getting stuck in there or breaking. Um, so if you have the opportunity to buy an impact drill, it's going to make your life a lot easier while doing this project. And once you have um, put all the screws in, you can take your clamp off and then the wood glue will dry in there and then you have one of your feet. So this next step here is putting the lip of the bed on that the plank sits on. I, I forgot to build, uh, I forgot to film it when we were doing it with the project, so I'm doing it here. Basically what you're going to do is take your uh, two by twos, cut them up so you have about three inches of space on the side there. On each side, this is a smaller piece of wood, this is obviously not as how long the actual bed would be. You want to drill your pilot holes in, and then you want to drill your actual actual holes in. So you can see, or you want to drill the screws in. So you can see in the next clip here that you have the it drilled in. It's going to look something like this, uh, and you want to make sure the lip is on the bottom side of the bed. Um, so what Raymond's doing here is he's going to take the bed, put some wood glue on it, and then he's going to put put the wood glue on the foot, and then put the foot on the bed like this, and then. He's going to take, he's going to once again drill three to four holes. I actually, two to three is fine here because you don't have a lot of space um, in the bed. So Raymond drilled three holes in here. Now he's going to take his other drill, which is once again the impact drill, I believe it is. He's going to drill these screws in. And once you've done that, you have got, um, you do this on all, you do this on both of the long ends, and put all four feet on. So what I'm doing here is we're measuring out the middle piece. This is for the queen bed only. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to measure it out so that there's just going to be a little bit of space to drop the bed in there. Um, so we've we got it cut and then we're bringing it back and you can see now that it's going to fit in there pretty much perfectly and you're going to use a 2 by 6 by 8 for that. Then you're going to use your 1 by 5s um, which can be however long as long as they're long enough to get in the middle of the bed there which is going to be 82 inches for the queen. You're going to cut them, you're going to put them in like this. Additionally for the queen you're going to want to have this uh, support uh, beam down the middle so you just cut a piece of scrap wood and screw it onto the bottom of um, the side piece like this and then cut a uh, piece of wood to fit down long ways across the bed so you can put the planks down and it won't sag in the middle and break the planks.